Today I'm gonna show you how to build this cargo bike using only basic tools like power drill and angle grinder. That means no welding and completely by yourself. So you're not gonna need any help by your dad or... Not even my military anymore, it's cool. I'm hey. joking. This is Ilmar, a friend of mine who runs this bike kitchen with all these bikes in here to build whatever. You might wanna find place like this for this project or find elsewhere a 16 or 20 inch wheel with its fork for this build. Luckily for me, there is an elementary school right next to the bike kitchen where some careless child left this bike, so, well, so, so, so I borrowed it. First, I disattached the fork from the rest. I accord, accommodate, accommodate, I just put it in, in, in this pipe that will serve as an extender to the current fork of the bicycle. Right, you're gonna need a bicycle. Who would have, who would have thought? I then figured the level ratio between the front and the back wheel. This I did with perfect precision with help of, of Nigel. I then mark where the existing fork and the new extending one is going to be cut. And <laughs> I did precisely that. I then bolted the pipe to the fork. Now comes the tricky part, connecting the extended fork with the rest of the bike. I first drilled a hole in one side of the fork and then determined the trajectory of the hole drilling. After first attempt, I missed the right angle, so the threaded bar wouldn't go all the way through while retaining the fork straight. So I had to basically redo it, which was quite frustrating. But not as frustrating as these idiots that are stuck in a traffic jam in a city that it's so small that most of the commutable distances are walkable within 15 minutes. I found the right spot and then drilled it under the right angle with a 4mm drill bit and then continued with this step drill thingy. I drilled from the other side hoping that the holes will meet and they did. Then I attached the power drill on the one end of the threaded bar and started to drill through the lock nuts. Um, my aim was to have lock nuts on each fastening side. The thing with lock nuts is that uh, they, they, they lock once threaded, so I ended up drilling there and back and, and like, like stupid to, to fit it all right. And after 20 minutes of, I mean, <coughs> of fiddling around, I realized that the key was using the keys, all of them, and I could just drill through like nothing. The fiddling was painful. But not as painful as looking for a parking spot for a car when there is so much space to park a bicycle, even one with a f desk box on it. I tighten it all up and tilt one more hole through and through and fasten it with buttloads of lock nuts. Now, to continue with my Japanese designer precision approach to this whole thing, I retraced the measurements of the fork so I could fabricate this sort of bracket that will unfortunately cover all this bolt beauty, but will reinforce the whole thingy in the crossing direction. I used jigsaw for this bit as I really wanted to achieve a level of absolute mastery. I drilled holes to it and guess what, I bolted it onto the fork. Now was the time to add the carrying sticks that are these metal bars 40 by 20 millimeters. There is nothing funny about it. I measured how far will they need to reach and then I cut them. Then using a measuring stick I determined the bending points and then I bend the metal stick by placing it in a vise and attaching a longer stick on it and just, you know, using brute force. After that, I sticked a piece of plywood into the rods for the bolts to, to, squeeze it, to squeeze it better and bolted it onto the bike. Uh, I then had a trail ride and realized, one, the bike is indeed longer and two, these ends here would be very dangerous, you know, to, in, in, in traffic, to like cars and stuff, so I sharpened it real good. No, I three different the no bees on them, yeah. Now the box. I cut the base from plywood, fixed it onto the bike and drilled holes from beneath through the rods and the plywood. You remember the bike I totally didn't steal? I, I took its handlebar, brushed off the old paint and then attached it to the frame like so with an M8 bolt. The idea is to run diagonals that will support the weight of the, of the box. I made them from these aluminium bars. I drilled small holes to them first, which I then widened with the step drill thingy again, so I could then fit them onto the handlebar. 
I then bent them like this and then fix them with tiny bolts this time. For the other end I friendly find these steel brackets and bolted them in. Then the rest of the box I measured approximate dimensions of, 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 of it and cut first the back, leaving openings for the diagonals. The sides are made from this Soviet plastic sheet, which is super durable and, and lightweight. Then, then, then the front, again from plywood, leaving the holes for diagonals in the bottom, and then I perceive painting it all black. Then I strip the bike of every competent I felt component enough, and I sanded it with 500 grit sandpaper. I won't tell you if masking this tank and the chain was a joke for the video or it's because I'm useless but I did exactly that and then proceed to paint the whole thing yellow. I didn't realize that the yellow color is a lighter color than the black color which is not a color but you know what I mean. Eventually I had to paint it three times. Um, I should have used primer so the whole painting experience turned out to be kind of frustrating but not as frustrating as living in a city that pretends to be fucking bite friendly and then uses bike lanes to dump snow on from the fucking road. For the final assembly I got help from the kid that I totally did not steal the bike from. He was kind of useless, but I mean look at him, he's such a good child, he's trying and he's like, I mean, he's... But he tried and that's what counts. We use brackets here and there to put the box all together. During the final test ride I found that the ride was kind of wobbly. It's cause the wheel is too small and the box too long and heavy so I'm gonna have to redo it. Which is kind of frustrating. But not as frustrating as listening to a self-righteous bike commuter that hates on cars in a DIY YouTube video.